What's up guys, Isaac here. Today I want to talk about gratitude. Well, recently I've been pretty sick, right? And um, I caught this flu sometime last week. And for the first three days of the sickness, it was, you know, just mild. All good, nothing too bad, just a cold, you know, runny nose. But then on the third day, it hit me like a freight train. I had this huge headache the whole day. My ears were blocked, I couldn't hear what people were saying, my eyes were burning. I was walking around at uni, because I had an exam that day, feeling like I was on some kind of drug that just messed up with my perception. And that level of sickness went on for like two or three days before it started dying down again. So those two, three days were terrible, they were horrible. And it was during those times that I actually started, you know, being grateful of my health, for my health previously, wishing I could get my health back. And that's something that we don't do often, right? Because we tend to take things for granted. That's how the mind works. We don't have periods where we step back and feel gratefulness for what we have. And I believe that being grateful for what you have is the key to actually becoming more happy. If you can take time throughout the day to actually celebrate the fact that you're alive, celebrate the fact that you're in a position that you're in. If you're watching this video, generally you're in the first world, you know, you have access to water, you have access to the internet, you have access to YouTube, you're where you're watching this video right now. You can play games if you want, you can sleep, you can work. Your life is actually quite good compared to what it could be. And that's no doing of you. That's by chance. You could have easily been born into some other bullshit circumstance where you didn't have access to water, where you didn't have access to the internet, where you couldn't even do anything you wanted and your life was basically just survival. So it's very important that you take time to reflect on these facts, to reflect on the fact that you are lucky, lucky as hell, to reflect that on the fact that you should be happy that you have your health intact that you have your family, that you have good friends, all these things, they help you have a happier life. Because the biggest trap you can fall into is this trap of wanting more and more and never being grateful. Wanting more money, wanting a bigger house, wanting a, you know, a better spouse, wanting better everything without ever being grateful. That's how the mind works. The mind by itself, without your conscious effort, will never be grateful. It'll always want more and more and more and more. So stop this insidious cycle and just be grateful. Take time to pause and enjoy the things that you have. And you can couple being grateful by thinking of, you know, something you're grateful for every morning with negative visualization. Thinking of um, what it would be like to lose something. You know, the stoic approach. I made a video about that previously. Those two things done daily will definitely improve the quality of your life. Anyway guys, what are you guys grateful for? Put it in the comment section down below. And I'll be seeing you guys soon. Peace. I'm gonna show you how to be part of the notification gang. It's real simple. You click subscribe and then you click on this little bell here. Boom, bang, boom, that's it. And you get notifications as soon as the videos are up. Peace. Do it! Just do it!